That is so bad. Blowing glass using a pipe originated 2,000 years ago. In Phoenicia. <laughs> Now the pipe is warm enough that the glass will stick to it. I'm going to go in here. I've got 120 pounds of molten glass in, in the furnace. It's about the consistency of honey. And I gather it on there just the way you get honey out of a jar. This is called marvering, where I'm centering that gather. I actually am getting more and more into doing really utilitarian blown stuff that might have been made around here in the 1800s. Uh, I still do fancy goblets and things like that, but I, uh, I really like old, funky blown stuff too. <laughs> and the other thing I, I make as well are, are pressed glass pieces, like these tiles where I do layers of enamel, but I press, I carve the fish on the back and then do layers of enamel on the back and pressed, pressed glass was actually invented in the United States in 1820. So again, it's sort of looking back to what used to be done. And that first gob, which is glass blowing term, that's a gather, called it gather. So this is the first gather, and I'm gonna let this cool down and go and gather over that for the second gather and make a two gather piece. There's the second gather. I'm letting it settle here, and now I'll shape it on the marker. My workshop is becoming lower and lower tech regarding blowing uh, the glass, where most glass blowers get a higher technique, like uh, Venetian. Uh, I've sort of gone the other way to like uh, more and more primitive. This is a fish where I just I carved the fish on the back here uh, and then just dropped a big blob of glass and squished it into this. Uh, again, pressed glass, like I say, is eight, American 1820. Nobody really does it anymore uh, because it's sort of low tech. But I really like some of the things you can get with pressed glass. I can go right back in this furnace and reheat, keep the glass so I can work with it. Glass is at about 2,000 degrees in here. Blow a little bit more. No. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go in the furnace and get it really hot and drop it into this blow mold that's right here. Glass is pretty soupy right now. Let it hang down some. Put it right in the mold. This is also uh, recycled glass, so it doesn't take well to like fancy thin wear. It's sort of like the way the glass they used to use around here in the middle 1800s. Redo the neck here to make sure it comes off right. I make these, they look sort of like winter squash. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of the pipe work, and I'm going to come over with a punty, cut it off the pipe, carry it on the punty so I can work the lip. This punty is just a little bit of glass that will stick on the bottom there and hold it. That's 
pretty much the finished piece there. It'll break off right here at the punty and go in the annealing oven. It'll be all set. I'm a member of the Fall Foliage Art Studio Tour that happens Columbus Day. Uh, this is our third or fourth, fourth, I think. Uh, and the work is amazing uh, and you should come.